So some of you have probably seen the Veritasium video about electricity flow and how he theorises that the electricity is actually running outside the wires, not within the wires. And he raised some interesting points. And I've seen some other videos by other YouTubers, and including some of my YouTubers group, who have addressed some things he's raised and had some comments about it. I thought I'd include my input in this too. Now, I'm not a theoretical physicist or any kind of real academic, but I do know that a little bit. It probably means I'm wrong, but we'll find out. You can tell me. You can put comments down below and you think I'm wrong. Or if you think... I'm raising something which everybody has overlooked. One of the things that was said was that it takes one second for the power to go from when you turn the switch on from the battery to the bulb, right? So it should take one second to light up, but it doesn't do that. The theory was that it's travelling between the wires, not through the wires, and so therefore you get, that's why you're getting an instant 1 over C or something was mentioned. I don't know about that stuff, it's not me, alright? But one thing that occurred to me is that Okay, that's for that electron. So if that electron is leaving the battery here, or power source, whatever it may be, but we're going to use a battery scenario, electrons leaving that source and travelling all the way through here, then yes, that electron will take that period of time to get there, speed of light. But what's not being considered is that the electron isn't the thing that's lighting that light up directly. The electron is pushing the electron next to it, which pushes the electron next to that, and so on, all the way through the wire, because they're sitting in the wire, they're just dormant because they're in a balanced state. As soon as you create an imbalance by applying electricity, it creates an imbalance, which then makes them cascade through the wire. So what you're actually doing is when you turn it on, you're not getting this electron turning light on instantly. It's the ones that are sitting right here already waiting to go through the bulb. They're just sitting there dormant waiting for an imbalance to make them move. It's potential difference which causes that. So my belief in this aspect is that it's far simpler than it's being put out there. I mean, I could be wrong. Please tell me if I'm wrong. I'd say I'm not an academic, but my thought is that the electrons are already sitting in the wires are what's turning the light on instantly. So as you push this one, it shunts all the other electrons and pushes the first one in. And obviously, after that period of time, the electron that left the battery over here will get through that bulb, and it will be, you know, in that time period of, you know, speed of light. But the ones that are already in the wires will be the ones that turn it on instantly, which is why it's instantly illuminating. It isn't bypassing the wire, it's what's already in the wire being shunted through by the imbalance. That's my theory. Tell me what you think down below. Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I a stupid fool who doesn't have a clue what I'm talking about? Quite possibly. But anyway, I'd like to get to click like and subscribe. Give it a go. Bye.